welcome everybody back for some more Grid City in City Skylines 2. The challenge that I was kind of playing is a bit of a joke that ended up going very, very, very well. And extremely well for that case. Today we're going to be expanding the city a lot more and buying a bunch more tiles. I'm not sure I actually have any tiles available to buy. So we might just have to expand out a little bit more. So first things first, let's get some more area for some more housing development. Obviously I'm not 100% sure if this is the greatest of places to put this. And obviously we'll do a little bit of a curb around there so that is nice and then we'll obviously go ahead and paint all this in with some lovely housing and stuff just because we are literally growing this city like crazy and of course we'll put in some shops uh, on the way into this area so they have some area to go like there's a massive demand for housing even though we've already put in so much housing in this area and it still wants more and more and more and more to be going in so there's also some other things that we should probably put in like some parks so we'll put maybe like two parks in like that which makes us a great town which gives us some more tiles to buy which is good because that could be our little city area here. We can also then expand. Ooh, we've already bought up here, so we can also put in some lovely grids. I actually remember that I messed up and it ended up pl uh, building underneath the world, didn't I? So that is that. And then we can go ahead and paint all of this in as well which should I was gonna say in theory fix our demand issues but I kind of weirdly doubt it will I'll put some of those uh, higher stuff in too so next things on the agenda is probably to start doing some tourist attractions get some tourists in get some money in that unlocks into here and then we can add in a water park we can probably put oh this is tiny it's expensive too for that tiny little thing and it looks like we can already build one of those we also got some statues and observation towers and that kind of thing as well. But the city still wants people, like tons and tons and tons of people. These are the bigger shops going in here as well. And the city just wants more and more people. The money is going up like crazy, like 80 grand a day. So we're not too worried about the money side of things. So we can probably go ahead and purchase all of those like so and probably even uh, those three and then we can expand the city down this side here now when I decided to make this challenge uh, a thing I didn't know that this was gonna go as well as it has to be completely honest with you, I literally thought that we'd get like halfway through and then nobody would want to live in the city. But literally the complete opposite has happened and the city has become probably one of the biggest um, I've ever made. And it's definitely the most profitable I've ever made in the entirety of me playing this game, which is kind of silly if you ask me. Like I don't see why it's done so well. And it's just a massive demand of everything. But that should help with that demand. That should start going down. The water park is getting 
14 employees, efficiency is not great. The upkeep is crazy expensive. There's apparently there's 67 attractions in there. What are they doing as attractions? We shall put in a, another car park for them though. Do a um, large, a very large car park. Next door. Should help with some of the people who want to get in there and park. In fact, it should start getting pretty busy sooner rather than later. No, $10 is pretty cheap. Anyway, still got a huge demand for more and more housing. We need to fix a couple of things as well. Like, this house has been collapsed. Go ahead and get rid of those. Make sure that nobody can live there. Make sure nobody can live in these areas where people do not want to. There is also high crime. I'm not sh entirely sure why. I think it's because... Oh yeah, this whole area down here has no police station. That should fix the high crime. Definitely, definitely, definitely should fix the high crime. Money's still looking pretty good. There's still, like, high crime, which I'm not really sure. But the healthcare coverage is pretty good, apart from, like, down in this area. It still wants me to do even more housing. My whole goal is to only make... So do you want any low-rent housing? Or... Identity, or is it all just? I don't want any medium. Nope, it's all just. It's all just that. It's all they want is that. And there's still a huge demand for the low density. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to do the thing I was going to do. But I, can't, I don't have enough tiles now. Right, let's do it. The mega, mega project. And obviously we need to link all that together, make sure that there is fire safety. going to say and police but
There we go. And all this will now get fed by roads and water and everything. And then we'll put in more shops. Yeah, it's like so. And then that whole area down here will all become just housing. And that's it. That's basically all I can do. Like, high rent. People are complaining about rent prices. We can probably put those down, to be completely honest with you. I'm not sure how high they are. No, they're not actually that high. I suppose we could bring them down a little bit. Yeah, we're making a lot of money per day. Making a lot of money again. See what we can get when it comes to industry as well. Housing is going crazy. I'm just building so much housing, and I, and I think that there's no end to this, to be completely honest with you. City Hall, we've got police headquarters, emergency small shelters. I'm not sure there's much more we can do with this city. Like, it just wants more and more housing. And I've built an entire row here. All that back bit is, and all of this is all housing. Everyone just wants to live in this city and be in this city. And I'm not too sure what else we can do to help that. As it is, I already feel like we've put way too much in housing. And everyone's just building away and all sorts of stuff. That'll make it easier for them to get in there anyway. There we go, it's already being used. Perfect. Should help people move in a lot quicker. But then you've got like stuff over here, which takes forever to get to just because. Well, maybe we could go. Maybe we could go underground. Uh, where's underground areas? Take a road. All the way to here. 
That's very expensive. Not really what I wanted, was it? There we go. See if that gets used at all. Because it's coming all the way from here. Everyone's getting happy. We've got twenty thousand people living here in this in this crazy gridded city. Where did I put that road in? There it is. Well, people are definitely using it to get somewhere, so that's a good start. Nobody I haven't seen anybody come out of it though. Yeah, people are definitely using it to get out of the city got cars with caravans and stuff so it's definitely being used which is very good I oh, know people are going in there I just don't think they're going I oh, know people are using it it's just a very 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 long road So it's going to take a while for people to get out to the other side. But, to be honest with you, not really bad planning. So, the point of it was to make everything easier for everybody to use. And get around the city a little bit easier. We're also making another 81,000 an hour. So, we're still looking pretty good for money. I'm not too sure what else we can really do. We can start probably doing oil drilling, which would be really, really, really good. Now, the issue with that is, is that we have this area here, but we only have one tile to buy. So we can purchase it. It does take like 95% of our money, but we can then indeed place in a road somewhat central to this. That's not central. Like so. Boom. And then we can then place in that said oil farm. Probably want to make this into like a little bit of a T shape kind of thing. And then place in the oil farm. Which is in a relatively up here. Oh, did I do it wrong? Did I put it in the wrong tile? I think I put it in the wrong tile. Yep, I bought the wrong tile. I put it in the wrong tile. It's okay, because we can do more housing.
boom. Even more housing going in. We're making a lot of money. A lot, a lot, a lot of money. We just need to get this level up. So, I'm going to go a little bit mad with some parks. bringing that XP level up a lot. How much is it for a number one of these? Oh, 240,000. It might take a while to get that. But this city is going pretty, pretty well. Um, I'm not too sure why either. Like why it's doing so well. But it, it is. Let's see if anybody uses that road that I literally just built. Anybody using this car park? Is anybody at the water park? The city is going a bit mental. A little bit crazy. And people are using this road. Which is both good and bad at the same time. Might be worth putting in a roundabout. Bus. No, it's a semi truck. Because you're going. Where are you going? Probably like all the way up here. Because these guys are getting lack of high skill laborers. Which means we probably. Oh, we've got a bigger bit of demand for. Medium density? No high density. Means we'll get some high density stuff coming in. Oh, big peak of high density needed. Painted high density somewhere else. But yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave today's episode here. Everything is growing and expanding. If you guys want me to actually keep going ahead and playing on this world and server, or world I should say. Uh, please do let me know in the comments if you want me to start again, please do let me know. But it's from something that started out as like a challenge and a silly idea and has expanded to this. Yes, we've got some abandoned houses and stuff, even in like the newer areas. Still, uh...
you know, it doesn't take too long to go around and demolish them all. But I hope you guys did enjoy anyway, and hope to see you guys next time for maybe another Grid City video. There's some planes which are flying around. Which is pretty cool.